My name is Dr. Maria Giroux and I'm an obstetrics and gynecology resident at the University of Saskatchewan. The OBGYN Academy has created a series of resources about COVID-19 that we would like to share with you. In this video, we're going to talk about testing. So when to get tested? That's a really good question. It depends on where you live. Different provinces and different countries may have different testing criteria, so it's important to be familiar. And I'm going to post a link below for Saskatchewan, which is where I live. And this testing criteria also varies um, across time, so it's important to make sure that you know the most recent testing criteria. If you meet the criteria, then you're going to get referred uh, to the testing center. And at the testing center, they do something called a nasopharyngeal swab. So they take a swab and it touches the back of the throat and into each nostril. And that swab is then collected and sent to the lab. At the same time, they can test for other things such as influenza and RSV. In the lab, what happens is that the sample is treated with several chemical solutions that remove other things that may be present in the sample, such as proteins and fats, and they only extract the genetic material that is present in the sample. For an individual who is COVID-19 negative, this genetic information would only be the genetic information of that person. If a person is COVID-19 positive, the genetic information would have both the genetic information of that person and COVID-19 genetic information. The next thing they do is because uh, COVID-19 is an RNA virus, they convert it into a DNA using a specific enzyme. Then they add some fragments of DNA to the mixture that are complementary to the specific parts of the DNA of COVID-19. So these fragments attach to COVID-19 DNA if COVID-19 DNA is in the sample. The next thing they do is they amplify the amount of copies of DNA that are there. So they go from having very few copies of COVID-19 DNA to a large amount. And they attach a marker and uh, they can detect a dye. If that dye is present over a specific amount, then the person tests positive. The test result is then reported to the patient and if the test is positive, then the public health gets notified because it's a reportable disease.